Lyft didn't accept a 2022 Kia for this? What is going on? My name is Chris and welcome to the Rideshare Guy. Let's talk about some vehicle requirements and some issues that have been faced when drivers are trying to get brand new vehicles onto the system, yet Lyft hasn't updated it yet. What's going to happen? Well, we'll talk about that, and we're also going to talk about some of the things that you can do to try to help with this. So a fellow driver reached out to us here at the Rideshare Guy and said that their 2022 Kia Carnival was not accepted into the Lyft platform. Why? Well, because it had sliding doors, which is quite crazy because many of the minivans that are used to drive have sliding doors. So I don't know what's going on there when it comes to Lyft, but it sounds like somebody who they're dealing with is not up to date on the entire system. Or is this something that they're just starting to put into place? Either way, it doesn't make any sense. So this driver had some back and forth between Lyft, but it didn't get elevated anywhere. And so this brand new vehicle is not able to be used on the Lyft platform. It's perfectly fine on Uber, but not on Lyft. Why? Well, doing a little bit more research when I was looking into this, it actually looks like Lyft just hasn't updated their systems yet. If you go in to try to add a vehicle on your account, I did this and tried putting in a 2022 Kia. There was only one type of Kia that was allowed to be put in, even though there are multiple versions of Kias that are allowed from 2021. So it appears that their systems haven't been updated yet. Could this be part of the pandemic or that they're slow to do it? Possible. But aren't they a tech company? Aren't they supposed to be on this? Now, what Lyft told this driver in response to his query about why a 2022 Kia Carnival wasn't able to be put on, and they responded with this, and it says, we appreciate your patience while waiting for a response. At this time, jump doors or sliding doors are not acceptable vehicle. We appreciate your understanding. Now here's the kicker of the whole thing. The 2021 Kia Sedona, which is the exact same vehicle as the 2022 Kia Carnival, the only difference is, is that it's rebranded for 2022, is still allowed on the list and that has sliding doors. Then bring all the other minivans onto it that have sliding doors, whether it's electric or not, they're still all over the platform. So why does that response even make sense? Well, I'll tell you one thing, it doesn't. So this is completely baffling to us here. And we just want to know, have you seen anything like this? If you're trying to put a new car into the system, has it been kicked back where you can't put it in because maybe they haven't updated their systems? That's what I think is the biggest thing. I think that they're a tech company that is slacking in trying to update their systems and it's preventing certain cars from being put onto the platform, even though they would really qualify. Now, the response, though, that they put in the email that says, at this time, jump doors or sliding doors are not acceptable vehicles. Does that make any sense to you? Have you seen anything like this? Have you ran into this problem? Comment below and let us know. All right, let's talk about a few different options that you could take in this event. So if you're looking at buying a new car, well, first off, if you're going to be doing rideshare and you're going to be doing it full time, you're going to be putting a lot of miles on. My suggestion is do not buy a brand new vehicle. Buy something that's used because the depreciation and the cost and all that will significantly drop because it's used versus new. And that's really if you're looking at just having your own rideshare type vehicle. Now, if you are going to have a family car, if you're going to be using this car often and it's going to be much more than just rideshare or you're doing it part time or anything like that, well, you could buy a new car. But again, just remember, when you buy a new car, you're going to be paying a much higher cost. And when you take it off the lot, well, you're getting hit with a lot of depreciation right away. So even a one or two year old car that has a very low amount of miles on it is going to be much better for you in the long run when it comes to cost versus buying new. And not only that, buying the one or two year old, Lyft should have their systems updated by then. 
apparently if you buy brand new, well, it might not be put into their system. They might not have updated it yet. Even though you're able to get certain cars, they're not on the platform, even though the requirements allow them to be on the platform. Again, I'm not sure where they got this non-sliding door thing at all because I've never seen that before. And I've seen plenty of videos that have drivers showing that they're driving minivans. I've seen many drivers in my area that are driving minivans. And guess what? They all have sliding doors. Well, now let's look at when you want to get a brand new car and you do get a brand new car like this particular driver decided to. Well, again, I think that this is something where Lyft is slacking and they're not updating their systems correctly and they need to be able to do that. Not only that, this is something where it should be elevated to a different team or a different level, depending on where in Lyft they're going to submit it, but not at the first level of contact with customer service, because that is a BS answer, in my opinion. Now, another thing that you can do if your car isn't on the list, even though it falls within the guidelines and requirements, and it is acceptable on one of the other platforms versus that particular platform, like it is on Uber, but not on Lyft. Well, you could continue to annoy Lyft and see if it'll get elevated. And remember, always be professional, even though it might be really tedious, really annoying, and might not go anywhere, there is that chance it could be elevated to the right place. And another thing you could do is just essentially wait it out. Maybe they do need to update their systems, and for some reason, they're not. Who knows? When they do, and you're able to submit that vehicle information and get it approved, well, then that's great. For the time being, just you could stay on the one platform and look at even other platforms like food delivery or shopping. There's a lot of different things you could potentially do, and you don't have to focus on one platform, at least for a little bit of time. And if you have any other suggestions or thoughts on that, make sure to comment below and let us know. Now, if you think that Lyft's response in that email was a little weird and not right and kind of confusing, smash that like button. Also, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be notified every time new videos are uploaded. All right, everyone, drive safe.